When you are in an avalanche situation, looking and searching for your partner under the avalanche, you need to be very fast. When you go down the debris, you want to have a big wrench to be as quick as possible. The new Barivox S2 and all Barivox Avalanche transceiver offer one of the largest search strip width and range on the market with 70 meters. This enables you to search the avalanche debris in big search strips of 35 meters to each side, adding up to the 70 meters of range. This means that the Barivox S2 with its performance is one of the most performing transceivers on the market while being one of the thinnest and most compact devices out there. The closer you get, the more precise your search. At three meters, you start the fin search. You will go down with your device in front of you at your knee high, and then you need to perform a cross pattern. So the Barivox S2 offers the intelligent fine search guidance, which means we are guiding you the entire way through the stressful phase of the fine search. So going through the cross pattern, we will guide you with an arrow backwards and forwards and then left and also right until you have found the minimum. The probe indication then really indicates that you have found this minimum, giving you positive reassurance and also you can get out your probe that second and start with the pinpointing. I think this is really crucial information beyond the traditional transceiver search because usually once you have found the minimum, the transceiver can't help you, but at least with this we can give you a little help and indication of what to do next to perform the entire avalanche rescue. When you're searching a bird person, it's a very extreme situation and then your stress will be at the maximum. For that, if you have the best support, it will help you to save time. The new Barivox generation comes with an additional search support layer of voice and acoustic search guidance. The voice guidance gives you more support during all the search phases, already starting at the signal search, indicating that you should keep your visual focus onto the avalanche debris and continuing with telling you how fast you're supposed to move during your search and also how to hold your device. Hold the device at knee height. Follow the arrow. Furthermore, the acoustic search gives you the opportunity to really keep your visual focus on the snow surface during the signal search and once the Barivox picks up the signal, it will indicate it by a loud double beep. This is the time when you really put your focus onto the transceiver and follow through the transceiver search. This is also supported by the acoustic tone, which will get louder and faster the closer you are getting to your buried person and it will also get quieter and slower if you're moving away from it. This additional support layer really helps you to be quick and precise during your rescue. In outdoor, the weather can change very quickly. With bright sun, it's very hard to read your screen, even with polarized sunglasses. The new Barivox S2 is the first transceiver on the market with a memory and pixel technology. This new screen technology means that you have higher contrast and visibility during all conditions, especially harsh sunlight. Furthermore, the screen saves up a lot of energy and overall will enhance your search performance and speed. When you're wearing your transceiver, you need to be very careful because your signal can be affected negatively by your smartphone, a metallic object or something else. You need to put it away a minimum of 20 centimeters on sending mode and 50 centimeters when you're searching. When you turn on your Barry Wax, it automatically conducts a self-test to check all the functions and make sure that the device is running properly when you head out into the backcountry. Furthermore, it continuously is checking your signal. A running send signal is indicated by the LED which is blinking. The interference guard is also making sure that you're always sending on max range so you really can be found in an avalanche situation and it intelligently mitigates any interference close to your transceiver. If the interference is too strong and it cannot be mitigated anymore, the Barrywox will warn you and indicate that your send function is impaired. Before you go ski touring or off-piste, you want to be sure all the members of the group have the transceiver on. You want to be sure as well that your transceiver is working correctly. For that, you need to perform a group check. For this, you turn on your Barrywox and press the mark button within the first five seconds to activate the group check. The Mammut group check is defined on one meter distance 
So actually you're not only checking if the transceiver is emitting a signal, but also if it's emitting in the right strength. And you can be sure that there's not a broken antenna or any interference causing a reduced send power. When someone in the group is caught in an avalanche, it's very important to organize the rescue. For that, a leader will ask people to do stuff like calling the emergency, preparing probe, preparing shovels, and also make sure the other transceiver don't perturb the person in charge of the search. The new Barivox generation offers two features to keep you safe during an avalanche rescue. The first function is called rescue send function and keeps all non-searching rescuers safe. So in case of an avalanche rescue, if you're not performing the transceiver search, you will put your transceiver into the rescue send function to suppress your signal and not disturb the search. For this, you will get your transceiver into the search mode and then pass it back into the send mode and activate the rescue send by pressing the mark button within the first five seconds. This will also be acoustically shown by the reverse triple beep sound. The other function is for all searching rescuers. And in case of a secondary avalanche, if you are in the search function, it will automatically go into ascent mode after four minutes of not moving. Both functions are motion sensor controlled. The new Barivox generation comes with a Bluetooth connection and a brand new Barivox app. Within the app, you can actually change your settings and also check for firmware updates. This is really important for any safety gear and you should always have your safety gear up to date. Furthermore, there is a new Barivox training park. With this training park, you can actually train different avalanche search scenarios. Starting with beginner scenarios, so really easy searches with only one buried person. And then you can improve your skills by going up into the more intermediate and advanced level searches with multiple burials. For this, all you need is at least one new Barivox transceiver and another transceiver for the search. So just go out and train with your friends and stay safe and enjoy the powder. The Barivox S2 is also the best device for professionals like mountain rescue operations, ski patrollers or mountain guides because it offers a wide range of alternative settings which enable you to perform a fast and precise search even in complex scenarios. For example, it offers you an analog tone which you can enable to always listen in for interference or um, overlapping signals. It also offers you the possibility to go into the alternative mode where you can access a lot of different search strategies which are not accessible within the digital mode. You also have the function to scroll within the buried subject list to mark and demark uh, buried subjects and therefore really get a good overview and fast rescue.